Welcome to this edition of the Walker Tech Minute. In this video, we will demonstrate the installation steps required to fit a Stevens deck height adjuster to a Walker deck. These steps will be similar on other decks that are compatible with the Stevens deck height adjuster kits. Before starting the installation, check the packaging to be sure that you have identified all the components for the install. You should have a shaft with sprockets and chains attached left hand and right hand side plates, handle assembly, spring, packet with four mounting blocks and hardware, and two white plastic bushings. With the deck off the tractor, remove the hitch pins, shim washers, and rubber washers from the deck pins, and remove the carrier frame from the deck housing and set it aside. In the deck housing, there are pilot holes for the deck height adjuster mounting blocks. These holes will need to be drilled out to 3 16ths or 5 millimeter diameter and threaded with a metric M6 by 1 tap. With the tap and a cordless drill set at low speed, apply a light film of oil and thread the holes. With any oil residue from threading the holes removed, the deck housing is ready for the deck height adjuster install. Next, take the carrier frame and stand it on its side by placing a block of wood under the carrier frame. The next step will be done with the drill template, part number 8640-1, available from Walker. If you're not using the templates, use the measurements provided with the kit instructions. Next. Locate and clamp the template to the carrier frame as shown and drill through the template with a 3 16 or 5 millimeter drill, providing a pilot hole that will be drilled out to 11 30 seconds or 8.5 millimeters, keeping the drill as square as possible. Repeat the process on the other side of the carrier frame using the correct template for the opposite side. Using a deburring bit, remove any sharp burrs from the drilled holes and clean off the surface of the carrier frame. In the next step, we will install the plastic bushings to the side plates as shown and check that they are seated firmly. Now take right hand side plate and route the chain through the chain guide and then fit the side plate on the shaft. Then fit the rear chain through the plastic guides as shown. Follow the same process with the left hand side plate. Next, install the jam nuts on the front two chain anchors as far as they will go on. Then take the four mounting blocks and thread them onto the chain anchors as far as they will go. Final adjustments will happen later when fitted to the deck. Place the deck in the lowest possible position and secure using hitch pins and shim washers as shown. Check that the deck is not resting on the ground and is completely hanging by the pins. If required, place blocks under the caster wheels to provide clearance. Next, take the height adjuster assembly and place it between the carrier frame arms as shown. Then take four metric M8 by 40 bolts and nuts and install both the height adjuster side plates to the carrier frame. Insert the bolts from the outside through the inside. To attach the rear bolt to the nylock nut, it will be easiest to hold the nut in place and thread the bolt into the nut until you feel the nylock engage the threads then tighten all four bolts. Next, take the shaft and slide it from side to side and rotate it to ensure that it can move freely 
There should be at least a 30 second or one millimeter of side play in the shaft. Take the handle and fit it over the shaft. Using an eight millimeter Allen wrench, thread the socket head cap screw into the chain sprocket until all the play is removed. Then back off one half turn and tighten the jam nut behind the handle. Next, insert the metric M8 by 40 bolt through the shaft from the underside of the handle and with the nylock nut in place, tighten firmly. Do not over tighten or the handle will not move freely. Now rotate the handle making sure the handle is free and can spring back into the holes. Check the chain routing as shown. Make sure the chain is located correctly in the chain guides and on the teeth of the sprockets. With the handle located in the hole position number one, adjust the height of the mounting blocks. Swing the mounting block using your fingers Thread it down one half turn at a time until it contacts the deck housing firmly with finger pressure. Repeat for all four mounting plates. Apply blue Loctite or a similar thread locker to the M6 hex bolts and insert the bolts through the mounting block holes and tighten. Do not over tighten as it is possible to strip the threading in the deck housing. Then tighten the jam nuts on the front mounting blocks. In the front angle of the carrier frame, locate and drill a 3 16 or 5 millimeter hole per measurements in the instructions. This is the spring anchor hole. Next, take the spring ensuring correct orientation as one end of the hook is offset to one side and attach the spring to the handle as shown and leave hanging. Take a firm grasp of the handle and rotate to hole number 12. The deck will be heavy as the counterweight spring is not yet completely installed. Attach the spring through the hole that was just drilled in the carrier frame angle. You will need to brace yourself against the deck as the spring is under a lot of tension. Now take the deck height adjuster through its full range of motion, stopping at several points through the range to make sure the handle engages properly and that the motion is light and easy. Remove the hitch pins and shim washers, retaining them should you need them again in the future. When tilting up the deck, it is recommended you place the deck height adjuster in the highest possible position to ensure that the chains are under tension and do not derail when the deck is in the tilt up position. I would like to thank Johnny Simmons and his team from Stevens Products in Auckland, New Zealand for their guidance and direction with this video. Thanks for watching this Walker Tech Minute. If you have any suggestions or ideas for future Tech Minute topics, please send your request to techminute at walkermowers.com.